Well, welcome to the Christmas special of Polyverses. Uh, as people will know, every year we try and film a video that's a little bit special. We uh, head out somewhere. Last year we went to Ireland, didn't we? Yeah. And this year we decided to head over to Holland uh, in search of some massive roach. So I gave Polly a call around April time. Yeah. Uh, trying to pack his gear in the van. I was going to pick him up and was going to head over to Rotterdam. Yeah. Um, the venue was one that I'd actually visited uh, when I first joined Matrix about three or four years ago. And there's some massive, massive roach in there. Um, I told Polly that there's a very, very good chance that he was going to catch a two pound, if not a three pound roach. Yeah, well, the chance of catching a two pound roach uh, is every angler's dream. And especially going to a venue I'd never fished before and being told there are lots of two pound ropes there, I just, well, I couldn't wait to get there. Just couldn't wait. And hearing stories of three, even four pound ropes, just got to go, got to go. So that was it. So I think it was on the Tuesday morning, uh, headed down to Bedford. We've got your gear in the van. Yeah. Drove down, jumped on the tunnel, uh, crossed over there then drove across through France, Belgium, was in Holland and was well, there. late that evening. Wasn't yeah, it, late really? that evening. We met up with Torsten. Um, he had actually been practicing that day. I think he, he'd had a few roach and a few but breeds. small fish, yeah. Not that was it, not not quite what no. I was expecting. So going into day one was a little bit like, are we going to catch optimistic the, really, yeah. what was, what was going to happen. Yeah, but obviously Torsten had been putting in a lot of practice, I think his Dad had been down, his brother. His auntie, his uncle, his next door neighbour. He'd had top class information, so I was going to be up against it, whatever. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but So that was it. So we, we had a couple of drinks that night. We got down to the bank early morning and uh, it was all systems go from there. Yeah. Hello, here we are. Another episode of Polly Versus. And the next couple of days I'll be fishing against Thorsten. Hey top guys. German angler. International, Th well, thinks he's a bit good, but we'll see. So, can't wait to get fishing. Is it Helifant Sluice? Yeah, it's a, it's a big lake. You can see it, and um, it's a, it's a beginning uh, from the Canal de Forna. It, uh, I think, some guys in England know that place. Uh, right. Uh, two big festivals every year. Right. And uh, yeah, we hope for some big fish. Big fish. This is where we could catch. The biggest roach I've ever caught. So, Hopefully. Yeah. So I've got one pound seven kilos here. That's three pounds. Oh, that's yeah. It's incredible. It's, not too it's bad. incredible. But at such a vast expanse of water, so obviously yeah. bigger fish. And if they're coming in, migrating in to go up the canal, we could be in for two fantastic days where we can be fishing pole and feeder, two different yeah. matches. So let's get on with the draw. Right, we're going to do the draw now. We like to do things a little bit different. We've got two of our new feed links here, a four, four centimetre and six centimetre. So I'm going to ask Forsen to draw one, and whoever gets the longest one gets the choice of pegs. And then tomorrow, the person who obviously got the shortest one chooses tomorrow. Um, so either of us gets to choose a peg on uh, either day. And we're fishing two four hour matches. Obviously today we're fishing the pole and tomorrow we're fishing the feeder and it'll be a combined weight on the two days will be the winner of the match. So Thorson, would you like to draw one of our oh, new feeder links? Give me the longer one. Oh yes. Oh, I think that's and a longer yes. one. Yes. As again, I've got the short straw. Okay, so right. I can decide where yeah. I want to start. So no, either I... near to the boat or away from the boat. It's up to the wind now. I say I go to the boat. Okay, and then I'll sit me down better. here. Right, well, yeah. I can't wait to get set up. So, yeah. best of luck. You too. You're Looking forward Paul to is, it. Paul is really <laughs> nervous. You see jumping fish everywhere, and he's so... Yeah, we will see. Hopefully we catch some big roach. Chance of Especially a for you. three pound roach. It's a big chance, yeah. Let's get on with it.
that's what I throw of 11 meters, 11 and a half. That's what I cup. Make a bit bigger place. It's better for the big fish. Yeah, we are ready now to, for fishing, and uh, it's nice to be here with Polly. But hopeful today's pole fishing. Hopefully, I can beat him. I will give my best. Uh, but he must win today. That's really important. By tomorrow, we are feeder, and that's my one. And there I have to win. But today, I will hopefully beat him. That's my must today and then we will see what happens. set up it's gonna be a four hour match pole only today so are you ready Thorsten yeah I'm ready mate all in Right, we just started. Um, I've mixed up about five kilo of ground bait, my supercharged black with some brown crumb, and I've put in a little handful of sweet corn, a um, couple of pints of caster, and a few worms chopped up. I fed ten balls and cupped in some loose caster. It's about 14 foot deep. I've got a two gram and a three gram rig. I'm on MP Roach floats. I've got an 012 hook length with a 16 hook. And I've just started on two casters. A um, couple of inches over depth. Uh, just see how long we've got to wait to get our first bite. But to say I'm excited is an understatement because when that float goes under, it could be a two pound roach, could be a three pound roach. Um, maybe a chance of some bream. So who knows, as far as the expanse of water, as Sawson said, the fish coming to migrate to go up through the lock into the canal. So and we've seen fish top and roll. So we're just poised now for them to start feeding. lifted it and it just had it, didn't it? Oh, uh, well, that's the first fish that's took over an hour. Roach, lovely roach. Perfect, perfect nick. So there's plenty more, and it's dad. <laughs> oh, what a nice roach. Unbelievable. <sighs> Polly, you are coming for this one, oh, I think. Oh, beautiful. Oh. I just let that drift past where my bait was. 
I think myself, please be a big roach, but I think it's a bream. Bream, Thorsten. Oh. It's all moduled up. That's ready for spawning. Only a little one. I can't even get my hands around it. <laughs> Let's get the hook out. There's that for a beautiful bream. Dutch bream. Ready for spawning, look, he's covered, absolutely covered. Little nobules all on top of him, all round him. You see him absolutely covered in them. Ready for spawning. Let's put him in the net and hope there's a few more. Oh, happy oh. day. What is that? Scheisendreck. What's that? Oid. Yeah. I want to talk a little bit about my tactic. Um, at the beginning from the match, I feed uh, six balls with ground bait and uh, lots of casters per hand on 11 and a half meter. And then I cup small balls, I think it was six also, uh, directly on my uh, on my place where I want to fish. The idea behind that is I want to keep my my place a little bit bigger so the most time in that year of uh, sorry the most time of that year you have a lot of fish on your pack and probably probably if you have a too small place for your ground bait yeah, we'll be have a lot of liner and fault hook fish and my idea about that is keep your place a little bit bigger and uh, sort the fish, only a few fish out on the longer distance. That's my opinion for today. Hopefully it's right. I, I catch uh, on my place with, uh, only with the small balls of casters. Um, I catch a nice roach and a small roach. Hopeful it's the right tactic. It's fighting like a roach. That's a roach. Oh, go on, be a roach. Oh, yeah. look at the roach. Roachy, roachy. Oh. oh, look at that. Look at that roach. My face say it all. Look at it. That is close to two pounds. What a fish. <laughs> what a beauty. I made up now. Let's get it started. Well, netting this roach and realising I knew it was two pound. Well, it was over two pound, I just knew it was. Catching roach, pound and a half. I think the biggest roach up then I'd caught was about 114 or 115. But this roach just looked, it just, it looked huge. It was just, and I was just so excited that I'd caught it. I just couldn't wait to wait to see what it what it went up to, what it was going to weigh, but I knew it was a two pound roach, and it just, well that made, we'd only done one day, um, and that, that just made it, I just, I just couldn't wait, just couldn't wait to weigh it, and so excited when so the float was going to go under the next, or the next day on the tip, just what I was going to catch, what it would be, awesome, awesome, oh, Oh, don't be that big. This 
just run it past me feed again. There's got to be a lot of them down there, Craig. Got to be. The roach could to be a real big roach. Little bream. Look at this for an immaculate bream. How about that for a Dutch bream? Beautiful fish. Put him in the net. At first I thought it was gonna be a huge roach, but let's carry on. Look at that, two and two perks, what a fish. Five, six pound. Huge bream. Let's see if we can make it three and three puts. Lovely. So, that my first bream, Polly has now two, hopefully I will catch uh, a few more and can, maybe then I have a chance to beat Polly. It went under, nothing, it went under, nothing, and then went under, and that roach. Whether it's the same fish, just don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was a lump. I think that was a two pound road. That was two kilo road. a proper bream. But you have a lot of fault hook fish here. Under the fin. Oh, I don't know. It was solid, wasn't it? That's moved off, took the show with them and that's it. That was straight away, wasn't it? Reamy. Reamy. It's a roach, Polly. Roach. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> I don't know, mate. I hope for a big roach. Nice fish, second one for me, nice bream, lovely. Well, we're halfway through the match and there's only one fish in it at the moment. Thorson's got two bream, a big roach and two smaller roach. And I've got three bream, a big roach and two smaller roach. But um, about 15 minutes ago, I had two in two puts it's very few bites and then third put and it went under again, clunk. It was as if I opened the bottom and it slowly moved off and I pulled out. Now, I don't think it's fell on, it's a real big bream. Whether that's frightened the few fish that are there, I don't know, but um, I just hope they come back and have a couple more visits. But the wind's very strong. And it's just very hard to you know, to catch a roach like six ounces, eight ounces, you think there'd be loads there, there must be, but very few bites, and when you get one, it's a decent fish. So, anything can happen. So, get me head down and just try and nick a few more. Oh no. Roach? Oh, 
We call it in Germany Scheiße. Idiot. That's a roach, Polly. Yeah, not a, not a big one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Bigger than I thought. Nice one, Polly. That's the biggest roach I've ever caught. How about that? Beautiful roach. That is over two pound. <laughs> Let's get another one. Two red worms again. I fished over my ground back there for ten minutes, nothing. Went to the the right where I've caught them all. Wherever the bait's drifting down there, and it went under. Beautiful bream. What that then? <laughs> That's a nightmare fish. This fish eat all the babies from the breams. A quick update, uh, an hour before the end. Um, Polly has now four bream and two nice roach. And I have uh, two nice breams and one proper roach. My big problem today is I lost uh, three big fish. Uh, I don't know exactly why. I think my elastic is a little bit too stiff, so it must be tired a little bit softer. Hopefully uh, I can catch a few fish more and now I have the setup is a little bit softer and maybe I can uh, catch or landing the fish that's my yeah normally it's really close Polly has two big fish more that's important oh a fish on but for me it's a problem I think at the beginning I start with a lot of casters in the ground bait and now yeah I think I catch a lot of small fish, roach like that, and that's, uh, yeah, I think that's why I feed too much casters. That's a big roach, I reckon. Oh, ho, 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 ho. beautiful roach, Thorsten. Not in the net. Oh, beauty. beauty. That's a nice fish. <laughs> simply, simply lovely. Nice fish. A kilo. 
I want to drink something, and then I look, oh, my, my, my float is gone. <laughs> well, this last hour has been terrible. I'm, I roached two pounds, a four or five pound bream in two puts, and I've not had another bite. I'm even fishing a real light rig now off bottom with a piece of worm just to see. Um, but I've just had very few bites anyway, but when I've had a bite, it's been a decent fish. So, come near the end now anyway, so maybe it's just time of day, but I have noticed the water levels, it's changed as if a tide's gone out. It's, it's dropped probably a foot and a bit. Whether that affects it, so I've got no knowledge on the venue to draw from. When that water goes down, does it become harder? Um, Thorson's nicked a couple of decent roach the last hour. He's got a few smaller fish. Uh, he did have the choice of pegs though, so we won't talk any more about that because he'll get upset. But uh, yeah, it's very hard now, so just another couple of fish would do me, but I don't think I'm going to get them. Beautiful. Well, the last well hour or so has been diabolical for me. I've not had a single bite. I had a nice roach and a bream, and that was it. And yet Thornston's caught, I think he's had two or three real big roach. So I think his claw about, I think it'd be very tight between us. Um, it just depends how big my bream are to the couple of bream he caught, but he's had more roach than me. Um, so I think we'd better call it time. and we'll get weighed in. So, that's it. Well, we're gonna weigh in now. Uh, we're gonna weigh Thorsten first and then myself. But I think it's very tight. Thorsten, the last hour and probably 20 minutes, you've caught probably seven or eight roach, but three of them real nice fish. Yeah, I've got a lot of tinny roach. Just depends, I had one or two more bream, but it just depends what they weigh. I think it'd be very close, but we'll see. And, yeah, it will be very close, yeah. but you had an end peg, so maybe uh, it works. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Right, if you get yeah, your fish so. out then, and we'll weigh okay, your fish. Yeah. Okay, right. £20.12. Let's just weigh that biggest roach, Thorsten. I think it'd be that one, I think. Right, we're just going to weigh... Thorson's biggest roach now. Beautiful fish. Two pound fourteen. What a fish. Love that fish. Two hundred grams less. Very tight. Very tight this will be. Nice breams. Yeah. Oh. 26 two. 26 two. So just weigh well the biggest roach. Yeah, two seven. Well there we are, there are the weights. I've got 26 pound and Thorsten's got 20 pounds, so only six pound in it. All to play for, for tomorrow, which is a feeder only match. Well done Thorsten, you yeah, had a cracking well roach, £2.14 and I've had two over £2. Never caught a £2 roach weighed in before and I've had two. 
I think I'll celebrate tonight, so I think we'll get back, have something to eat, and a couple of drinks, and we'll see you yeah, on the bank tomorrow. Definitely a few beer, and then tomorrow feed a match, and roll on tomorrow. Yeah, you get your own back. Wash me in the water Cleanse me in the mercy of your love I need a heavenly That was it, the end of day one. And although there hadn't been a lot of fish caught, the fish that obviously the guys had caught was just fantastic quality. <laughs> Talking two pound roach and six pound bream, bream that you couldn't even get your hand round, they were, they were so big. And it was just like, I was just proper excited to see what would catch the next day. Oh, well, I mean, just sitting there um, that first day, uh, let alone what we caught. Like I think Thorson had two roach over two pound. I've had my first ever two pound roach, which just made the trip. But me and Thorson sat there and we were seeing these fish top where we'd be fishing the next day on the feeder. And me and Thorson at the same time, see this roach go over. And uh, so long as I live, that was four pound. Definitely four pound, might have been five pound. It was huge. And you could see it as plain as day as roach at about 25, 30 meters. Just went over so slow and down, and me and Thorson both looked at each other and went, Christ, that was a roach. It was just. Um, so, coming for the next day, I mean, we were both so excited. It was just. Uh, well, just unreal. That was it. Unreal. And we obviously, we knew we had an early start the next day. Um, a cold start. A cold start. <laughs> we'd not booked any pegs, so we wanted to be down there at the crack of dawn, but we decided that night, we headed out, we had a steak. Fantastic Big steak. steak. <laughs> it was absolutely unreal. And it was so good. I think we went back there again the second night. Yeah, we well. did. <laughs> Two, Two nights, nights on running. the drop. But yeah, it was just absolutely buzzing, all of us, I think, just to get back there in the morning yeah. um, as soon as we could and just have another crack yeah. at it. But incidentally, roads. walking to the pub, because it's just round from where we were staying, there was another like sluice inlet and we could see huge bream. And you said, I think that's a roach in amongst them. I mean, it was like that. So that'd have to be three, four. Yeah, they're just, they're just unreal. And yeah, like I say, we just couldn't wait to get back <laughs> the next day. So exciting, yeah. Like the start of the season, the old season years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious June the 16th.
Well, here we are, second part, over in Holland at, where are we? What's it called? You, have to you it. say, you it, say. It's called Hellefoot Sluis, but probably. I can't say it. Can't I can't say. say it. It's too hard for me. But no, um, it's absolutely freezing this morning. I mean, you can't even feel our hands. We're all set up, feeder only, four hours. Uh, I'm on a high anyway after yesterday to catch a two pound notes, let alone two and one of two seven. And Thorsten had three. <clears throat> and one of 214, I mean, that's just unbelievable. Where can you go to catch? Not one, all right, three, two pound roach. So it's all to play for. I'm on 26 pound, thoughts on 20 pound. It's a combined weight over the two days. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Are you? Yeah. Should be good. Hopefully a good match. Did yeah. something wrong yesterday, hopefully I'll do it better today. Yeah, just one fish in it really yesterday. So, all to play for. Let's hope we get a few bites. Um, it is windy, so I'm glad we fished the pole yesterday, and it is very, very cold. So, let's get started and uh, see what we can catch. Good luck, mate. Best of luck. Okay, you ready, Thorsten? I am ready, mate. All in! All in! Oh, that was jumping a bream. No. <laughs> yeah. Augusta! Augusta? Augusta! I want to explain my tactic for today. Um, it's really, really easy, the same as yesterday. I, I prefer to feed a lot of casters. Uh, I want to catch the big roads. That's my important thing today. And I think we can catch more on the feeder today, hopeful. So, at first I would start with a bigger size uh, feeder. In the first hour, I think. And then, oh, I missed the bite. And then uh, I will drop uh, to a smaller one, uh, but I will feed lots of casters. I think I have two, uh, one and a half liter of casters here and uh, will feed a lot. And uh, sometimes if the breams are coming, a few chop worms, but not too much. I think it's not good uh, at the moment to feed a lot of worms. So that's it, that's really easy. My distance is uh, 20. 4 meters exactly. I found a nice bottom, really clear, not snaggy. That's really important here. So, and then I start with two casters and a maggot on the hook. So, let's hope for a few fish more. Well, I've just had the first few chucks in. Um, Fawson's just had a fish straight away, and I've missed a bite, so which is good. Um, I'm fishing at 31 turns on my reel, which is probably just under 30 metres. Um, I put a few worms in, a little bit of corn, a few maggots, a few casters, and I've started with a slightly larger cage feeder, and then I'll be putting a smaller one on, sort of half hour, three quarters hour, just getting a little bit of bait out there. I missed a bite first, Chuck, and this is the third one, I had a little tap then, well, I was just talking, so we might get a few fish hopefully today on the tip. But it's very cold, very cold. Got a nice clear spot out there. I dragged the lead round, just dragging on the bottom, quite flat. So hopefully get a fish few move in and put a few in the net. Nice fish, mate. Yeah. 
we are, first fish. Lovely breed, immaculate condition. Simply lovely. that no you three oh. a big fish it's a fault hook fish oh look That's a monster! a little boy and it was running at me. Never had that before. That's an immaculate, pristine condition fish. Look at that. Awesome. So fat, so for the food. Very strong fish here. It's a roach. Oh. How big is that? I don't know, Polly. It's that not is, too bad. That is three pounds. <laughs> a little bit bigger than yesterday, I oh. think. What a nice fish. Lovely. That's a three pound roach. A roach. Is that a roach? Ridiculous. A baby breed. Better one, Thorsten. Better fish. 
this is simply, simply lovely. Monster. Oh, a roach. That's the biggest guster I've ever caught. Look at that for a guster. <laughs> Just a back wine then. No, no, it's got to be feral because it's fighting fine, but I don't want to. A full hook. Force it in case it's a huge roach or. Look. Oh, <laughs> oh, never know. Never know. So I want to explain a little bit my setup, what I use today. My opinion about uh, that fishing is we, we fish really short, so we, I fish 24 meters, so it's not a long distance. So I, I uh, decided to fish the 3.5 meter X-Slim. It's a really uh, light rod, it's nice uh, for playing fish and it's really, it has it's a soft bend, so hopeful I can Later, if maybe the fish is a little bit shy, I can fish with a smaller hook and uh, don't lose uh, some fish. That's my opinion about that. Then I use the 3000 Horizon X. Easy reel, nice and light for that fishing. Yeah, and then uh, um, a 0 0.8 uh, submerged braid and uh, O23 shock line um, I think it's double length of rod and four turns on the reel that's it and then an easy free running rig and uh, now I change uh, from a from a short tail to a little bit longer to 70 centimeters so the fish is a little bit shy the, the, the bites coming and they uh, don't feed it so decided to go a little bit longer and now I have a nice bite so hopefully it works all day. Monster fish. Well, we've been fishing about an hour now and it's it's unreal. We've had some lovely bream. Uh, Thor's has had a roach. It's three pound. I can't wait to weigh it. I played a fish about 10 minutes ago, I've been fishing about an hour. It might have been a bream in the back, but it was a big fish. I played it probably five minutes and it pulled off. But I think it was a bream hooked in the back, but I couldn't get it up. I kept back winding on it. But this is lovely fishing, really is. Every fish. hasn't seen a hook before. Another huge Holland bream. <laughs> Unreal. Oh. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome fish. Be a roach. I to unclip. I unclipped. That's a mullet. Or oh, big eel. Oh, be a four pound roach. Is that a roach in the tail? What is it? Bream. In 
the tail. <laughs> Is that a fault hook? Yeah, in the tail. halfway through the second day now and it's just been unbelievable from first cast in I've had an indication that it's been bream, bream, Thorsten's catching bream, just incredible and then the highlight of it was I've had another roach that I know is my personal best, it beat the days before and then Thorsten's had a couple of nice roaches and he's got one that me and him both knows over three pound, it's got to be, it's huge and some big bream. I've had one bream that I didn't know was a bream. I thought I'd got a carp and I've unclipped and played it for a few minutes and when it come up, it's a bream, about six, seven pound, hooked in the tail. God, that give a fight. But it was just, it was just non-stop fish after fish or bream after bream. And the, the, when the tip goes round, is it going to be a big roach? But the main thing going through my mind is I wanted to beat Thorsten. It was so close what we were catching. And I got the, like, just, it was, I was just in awe of the, the match, just everything going on. It was just a match like I've never fished before, but a venue I'd never fished before. And I just, I just couldn't wait every time the tip went around just to see what it was. Just awesome. But I wanted to beat him. A.B. Baby. Skimmer? Yep. Roach. No skimmer. Huh.
we've got about 90 minutes to go and well, it's been absolutely brilliant so far. We've caught in different spells, but I reckon Thorson's three, maybe four fish ahead of me. Um, I've had a lot of personal best Guster or Silver Breen that's over a pound. Thorson's got a roach, we'll weigh it at the end. It is definitely three pounds, it's a beautiful fish. Fish of a lifetime. Um, you get little spells where you, you get a, a burst of fish and then goes quiet for a few minutes, like old catch, Thorsten won't, Thorsten will catch an old catch. Best bait's been two little red worms, tip of a white maggot. I'm now on a size 12 hook, 010. Um, yeah, it's good. I think we're at high tide as well, because although it's, it's a big lake, it does go up and down, because yesterday the water never come up this high, and it's literally, well, I could walk in front of my platform and he's only just touching the water, now it's right up. So um, whether that plays a part on the fishing as well, the water levels, um, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic. So get me head down and just try and nick a couple more back and catch up with uh, my good friend Thorsten, who's concentrating really hard. I can see he really wants this. That's a big mama. Big brain. Oh, roach. Look at that roach. A roach? Oh, oh. oh Polly. That beautiful roach. <laughs> nice roach. What I use on the hook is really simple. I use three small red worms on the hook and a maggot on top. That works really, really well. It works better than uh, two big worms or uh, a cutted worm. That, that is at the moment the best uh, one what we can use. Okay, that's it. That's it, Thorsten. So we're going to weigh me first today because we weighed you first yesterday, Thorsten. Yeah. So I'll get my fish out and we'll see what weight I've got. Whew. The lovely net. Right, so that first way, 38.11. I wouldn't lift them up. Is that a big guster in there? Thirty-five nine. That's not too bad. <laughs> Just like to weigh this roach. Two eight. All right, my total weight today is one hundred and thirteen pounds. With twenty-six yesterday, gives me one hundred and thirty-nine uh, and a few ounces. 
So Thorsten now needs to weigh 120 pound to beat me, which I'm, I'm sure he has, because he had a few more fish for me, and they're lovely fish. And we're going to weigh one of his ropes, I'm sure is three pounds, so that'd be nice to, to see that on the scale. So if you want to get your fish up, Thorsten. Yeah. Forty-seven. Where were? Forty-five. Forty-five eleven? Yeah, brilliant. Broach there. Help. Help me Thorsten lift this up please. Right up. Forty-eight pound. Okay, just before you put those back, for yeah, let's weigh that roach. Look at that fish. I'm sure that is going to be three pound. And it is. Yeah. Three, three nine. Awesome. Thank you, Awesome. Mate. Well, we just tied the weights up, uh, roughly. Thorson's had 140 pound to my 113. And then taking consideration air weights yesterday, I'd have 139 and Thorson's gonna have uh, 160. So, You've beat me by 60, 40, 21 pounds, which I thought was about four fish. Maybe three to four fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thorsten, well done. Superb. I mean, I know you've been practicing here about the last four or five weeks. Your dad's been down, your brother, his sister, <laughs> your auntie. But no, I mean, absolutely fantastic. Brilliant. For coming all the way over here from Germany, I know we've come over from England, but absolutely fantastic. You had a roach yesterday. £2.14 and today a £3.10 Ten. Ten ounce roach. Where can you go and catch roach like that? Awesome. And the bream we've caught today is just absolutely fantastic. It's been, it's been unbelievable. And any of you guys watching out there want to come and catch some bream and the chance of a £3 roach, this is the place to come. And what's the name of it? Yeah, you have to say I it. I can't say it. So we <laughs> call it Hellefoot Sluis. Hellerford Sluice. There you go, I've said it. So it. get yourselves out here. Yeah. You'll have a brilliant week's holiday fishing, great accommodation all the way around, and the fishing, well, have you seen, it is unbelievable. Uh, oh, and one other thing, Merry Christmas to you all. To catch a two pound roach anywhere is an angler's dream, especially going to a venue I'd never fished before and being told there are lots of two pound ropes there, I just, well, I couldn't wait to get there. Just couldn't wait. Yeah. So, best of luck. You too. Looking forward Paul to is, it. Paul is really nervous. You see jumping fish everywhere and he's so, yeah, we will see. Hopefully we catch some big roach. Chance of Especially for you. Three pound roach. It's a big chance, yeah. Let's go on with it. Oh, yeah. look at the roach. Roachy, roachy. Oh. Wally on caster. Ho oh, ho! Look at that! Look at that roach. Can my face say it all? Look at it. That is close to two pounds. What a fish. Is that a roach? Is that a roach? Ridiculous. Just a fucking roach. Oh. How big is that? 
I don't know, Polly. It's that not too bad. bad. That is three pounds. <laughs> a little bit bigger than yesterday, I oh. think. What a nice fish. Lovely. It's a three pound lunch. Simply, simply lovely.